Coming up this weekend, nearly 100 triathletes are getting ready to compete in a family-friendly neighborhood-style triathlon. We're going to spend some more time talking about it this morning. Guys, I thank you both for being on the show with me today. Thank you for inviting us. us. You're welcome. Let's talk about the triathlon that will be taking place in Marathon. Go ahead, Franco. Well, the triathlon we have coming up is, as you mentioned, really family friendly. And it's all about the community and you know, raising funds for local school athletics. And it's a really small event uh, compared to a lot of others. So it's uh, very uh, easy to train for. And, and you know, even if you're just really comfortable doing you know, a 5K, you know, I think you can come out and do our little mini try. And it's at Sombrero Beach in Marathon. And we have anywhere from 50 to 100 people usually come to our event. And it's having really good reviews and a lot of people are coming back, families, friends, and doing it together as teams as well. Okay, wonderful. And now this event is being put on by Meritri, which is the organization that you both have founded. How did Meritri come about? Well, about two years ago, my daughter came home one day and said, I want to join the Marines. I need to get in shape. So I said, honey, let's... Let's start training and start doing something really hard. And, and I researched and I said, well, you know what? There's a triathlon and coming up in Key West, their first annual, um, in three months. So we have three months to start training and getting ready. So we did that. And we trained real hard and did our first race in Key West. Had such a great time. Met with some of the members down, down here in Key West who put it on. And we decided, why doesn't Marathon have a club and, and do this kind of thing, too? So that's where it started. Okay. So mm -hmm. that's where it began. And now can anybody get involved in this? I mean, you kind of mentioned that you can only do, even if you just run a 5K, you can still do this, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really, if you have, you know, the excitement to get out there and do some outdoor sports, mm -hmm. and you know, even myself, you know, growing up in the Keys, doing snorkeling and, and diving around, you know, I've always loved the water, been comfortable in the water, but swimming, I haven't really done that much of. So mm -hmm. it's a small enough event that if you're, just comfortable in the water you can get around a few buoys and, and get your way back up to the beach and you know the bike is it's all flat brand new roads around the golf course on Sombrero Beach it's only six miles and then the run is only half of a 5k and you just you just run around uh, some of the local streets and come back to the beach That's and not it's too bad. no it's, it's a great time actually <laughs> okay now how did you both and you can answer this individually, get interested though, just in triathlons in general. Was it, was it just your daughter for you? It was you? just my daughter. I okay. really had no, no um, aspiration to do this at all. Mm -hmm. But when she said, I want to do something really hard, I said, well, let's try something really hard. I mean, mm -hmm. triathlon mm -hmm. is hard. And uh, yeah. it was great to, to get out there and train with her and have a lot of quality time with her mm -hmm. and um, get in shape at the same time. Okay, and now what about you, Franco? Um, well, kind of like I said, I just growing up in the Keys, being around the water, and then going to school uh, in Gainesville, I uh, ended up like commuting on my bicycle to school, like at least mm -hmm. 10 miles a day. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then doing that and just coming from a running background, playing mm -hmm. soccer and just loving to run outdoors, I found a team, tri uh, University of Florida triathlon team. I didn't even know that existed at the time. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, I do all these three things anyway. I love the water starting to really love riding my bike and get pretty good at it and I love to run let me see if I can put all three together and when I joined the team I just fell in love with the sport it's it's a great lifelong sport I mean cross training for if you play football if you play soccer if you rollerblade I mean everything that the triathlon does is really just kind of cross training for whatever you love to do and it mm -hmm. helps round you out wonderful are there going to be a lot more triathlons coming up in the future guys I hope so. Right. Mm -hmm. People keep wanting, wanting us to keep having them over and over again. So, mm -hmm. so far, this is our yeah. sixth one in two years. Um, I don't see any uh, reason to stop now. Well, I hope you have many, many more. Okay, guys. Thank, Thank you. you for sharing all this information. And hopefully our viewers can make it out to your event taking place in Marathon this weekend. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.